Hey guys, welcome back to Beam Real Lights. I'm excited to be back. I'm back home. I'm back in my car, aka my office space. I'm back, you guys, and I have so much joy of the Lord to share with y'all. I have manna to share with you guys. So let's get right into this word. And I mean, let's pray and get into this word. Sorry, y'all. It's still early. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your power, your love, and your sound mind. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that under the sound of my voice, that you will speak and that you will move and that you will come as a confirmation that this word will be a confirmation and a reflection of your heart to your children in this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys. So the Lord woke me up today sharing about there's a lion within you, right? God is the lion and the lamb. So when we go into his truth and, and his word to understand that he is so loving, so gentle, right? God is very gentle with us. He loves us so much. Like we're so precious to him. He's also a lion where he roars and when he speaks, he moves. And when he moves, like, it's like everything must cease and must be stopped. And so God is saying today to you that there's a lion within you. He is the lion in, within you. And he wants you to be bold. He wants you to take dominion over the very assignments, over the very promises he spoke to you. God is not a man that he shall lie. He's not going to send you out. He's not going to give you a word. He's not going to promise you something and not come through on his promise. He's a loving father. And if you think of a father or mom and their, their child, right? A parent and their child. And for those of you guys, I always say this, that are parents. I'm not a parent yet, but I can understand that as a parent, I would want to discipline my child in a loving way that they will mature and be taught things correctly that they don't drift off or drift away or stray away but that they are on the right path even if they make mistakes that your love is there to bring them back in and to teach them over and over you know the right way the correct way the loving way and the right way I mean is the loving way right there's with our personal walks because this is a relationship between you and Jesus we know what's right or wrong God tells us what's right or wrong in his word but it takes an individual person right it takes your heart to know this is right this is wrong in my life that's why we can't judge people we can't point the finger and say you're wrong you're this and that because we're hypocrites we're literally not perfect we all fall short of the glory of God so I want to share that. Somebody needs to hear that today also with forgiveness. If you need to forgive somebody, God wants to set you free and God wants to use you, but God also wants to teach you how to forgive so he can forgive you, so you can walk in your calling, so you can walk in the very purpose that he's set in place for you. So let's going back to um, having the lion of God within you, right? He wants you to roar. He wants people to know who he is. God wants to use you. He wa He's waking you up. He's removing things, people out of your life. He's uprooting you. Maybe you are in a season of promotion. If you're in a season of promotion, let the Lord continue to use you because he's, gonna con he's gonna, going to continue to promote you and open doors no man can shut. Let me tell you, when I moved to California, I wanted to see God's hand move and him sending me here was unknown. There was a lot of uncertainties. I had a lot of questions, but it really is in God's pace, God's timing that he moves, that he speaks. And when you obey and you listen and you trust him, trust above all, he says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, submit to the Lord and he will make your path straight. When you submit to God in all of your ways, whether that's the circumstances you're facing, maybe you're trying to save your marriage, maybe you're trying to save that relationship that God told you to let go of. Maybe the, you're trying to protect your children when God is saying, let go of your children. They're going off to college or maybe they're relocating to a new city. God is saying, let go, trust me because it is not in your control, but it is in the hands of God, amen. The Lord is speaking today. He is, y'all, he's speaking today. So today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a scripture I put up today on my Beam Your Light Instagram account. Um, and it's always good to wake up with the joy of the Lord. It is, it is literally our portion, right? We get to wake up in joy and we get to wake up without carrying burdens and heavy laden. So God wants to set that line within you. He wants that line within you to roar. He wants to shine his face upon you 
so that many will understand and come to know Jesus Christ, okay? So God is doing something new within you and you have all these questions, lay them to his feet, trust him and let him use you. Let his lion, let his voice speak, let God move. He says he will never place us in a circumstance or a position where he's not gonna speak through us. He always will give us words of wisdom, right? You can ask God for direction, ask God for instruction. Ask God for wisdom. Ask God for what you need because he will make you well. Your faith in the Lord makes you well for you to keep shining his light. And that confidence comes from the Lord. Amen. No one can shake your faith when you know who you are in Christ. Let his voice speak. Let the lion within you roar. If this message bless you, write down below. Put the little lion emojis. Um, and if it bless you, write down below. Let his voice roar. Let the lion of God roar. Amen. Okay, I'm done. I'm really excited today. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon.